Hello everyone, welcome back to Automobile, your trusted source for everything fast, fierce and fascinating. Today, we're taking to the skies for something a little different, but still very much within the realm of high-performance engineering. Buckle up as we dive into one of China's most talked about naval fighter jets, the Shenyang J-15, also known as the Flying Shark. The Shenyang J-15 is China's carrier-based fighter jet developed by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation and the 601 Institute. It first flew in 2009 and officially entered service in 2013. While many refer to it as a clone of the Russian Sukhoi Su-33, the J-15 brings its own capabilities to the table, especially when integrated into China's growing Blue Water Navy. Strategy Based on the Su-33 airframe, the J-15 is modified with Chinese-developed avionics, radar systems and weapon capabilities. It was reverse-engineered from a Su-33 prototype that China acquired from Ukraine in the early 2000s. But it's not a simple copy. The Chinese designers reworked the aircraft to fit their technological ecosystem and future vision. It's heavier than the original Su-33 but has a more advanced radar and supports a variety of Chinese air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. The jet is powered by two Russian-made AL-31F engines, though China is actively working to replace these with its own WS-10 engines in future versions. The J-15 features folding wings, strengthened landing gear, and a tail hook for carrier operations, essential features for landing on China's aircraft carriers like the Liaoning and Shandong. Now, how does it perform? The J-15 can reach speeds of Mach 2.4 and has a combat radius of around 1,000 kilometers. It can carry up to 6,500 kilograms of weapons, including PL-12 and PL-8 air-to-air missiles, as well as guided bombs. Despite its powerful specs, the J-15 has faced criticism for being too heavy for efficient carrier operations, especially given the ski-jump-style takeoff system on Chinese carriers, which limits its payload and range. Compared to Western carrier, fighters like the F-A-18 Super Hornet or the French Rafale M, the J-15 still lags in terms of ease of deployment and engine reliability. The lack of a catapult-assisted launch system restricts how much weight the J-15 can carry when taking off from the deck. This means less fuel and fewer weapons in real combat scenarios. However, future Chinese carriers like the Fujian, equipped with electromagnetic catapults, aim to solve that issue, potentially giving the J-15 or its successors a new lease on life. Despite these limitations, the J-15 plays a crucial transitional role. It has allowed China to train naval aviators, develop carrier doctrines, and build experience in operating a carrier-based air wing. It's essentially the stepping stone toward more advanced fighters, like the rumored stealth carrier-based J-35. The J-15 may not be the perfect aircraft, but it represents a significant leap in China's ambitions to project power far beyond its shores. It symbolizes not just a fighter, but an entire strategic shift in naval warfare for the People's Liberation Army Navy. Thanks for watching this high-flying episode of Automobile. If you enjoyed learning about the Shenyang J-15 and want more deep dives into military engineering marvels, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. We've got a lot more coming your way, from land to sea to sky. Until next time, keep your engines running and your curiosity flying high.